Hello guys, Carlos here from computer-fix.co.uk. Today I'm bringing you a quick video regarding a new feature in Microsoft software. Let's have a look at it. Okay, we're back. So this is a new feature in Microsoft software um, regarding mice and keyboard, uh, especially if you use Mac OS X uh, and use Windows as well. Uh, you are aware that Mac OS X has reverse crawling and to do the same in Windows is a rather complicated process that you will need to change the registry and for somebody that does not know what they're doing it can render the system inoperable. So um, there is a new feature in the new drivers from Microsoft. This is only related to the Microsoft Mice and Keyboard. Uh, this new drivers 8.2 IntelliType and IntelliPoint are, uh, have this option, this reverse scrolling option. Uh, so you won't have to um, uh, readjust every time you change from Mac OS X to Windows. So all you need to do is go into the Microsoft site and download this new drivers and new look software which looks a little bit like the Windows 8 interface. It's quite um, uh, eye candy if you, if you know what I mean. Um, so all you need to do is type in Microsoft Windows Keyboards and drivers and that's the, the site that you want software download to Microsoft hardware so you click on that site and in my case I have the uh, a desktop set which is a cheap one it was about 20 quid um, last year which is the wireless media desktop 1000 and this new software actually works with this hardware with this keyboard and mouse set um, so uh, I've got Windows 7 64 bit but obviously you can choose whatever um, Windows you have including Mac OS you can actually download drivers for Mac OS and um, uh, get all the, the shortcuts from the keyboard and the mouse all lined up and everything working in unison in Mac OS. So um, basically you download these two, uh, the IntelliType and the IntelliPoint and once you install them you will get a new interface. And now in this interface if we go into um, Start and uh, Devices and Printers then you will get two little beautiful icons. Um, we're going to concentrate on the mouse, on the wireless optical mouse that I have, which is the wireless optical mouse 2000. If you double click on it, then uh, this, inter this um, window opens, which is quite an old window, it's from the old software. But when you double click on configure my mouse, a little window will open again. And this one says, um, uh, it gives you a few options, obviously, uh, pointers, pointer options, wheel hardware and activities and if you look at will there's not many options there to change for this is the old software still um, uh, and the new interface is coming so if you go back to the first tab mouse and keyboard center as you can see there's a link here Microsoft mouse and keyboard center uh, if you click here to change the Microsoft mouse settings so you're going to do just that click on that and the new Microsoft mouse and keyboard center launches very very nice as you can see very eye candy. Uh, it's got all of the options that you want uh, and you can reassign shortcuts to different functions. If you're not happy with a shortcut you can change it into a different uh, function. But we're going to concentrate on the mouse like I said and on the wheel button as you can see I've got Flip 3D. Flip 3D does this effect 
where I can see a cascade of windows and I can choose whichever window I want. So if I want this window, I just click on top of it. And if I want this window, I just click on top of it. So uh, basically quite a few different features. But on the wheel customize wheel behavior, this is where the magic happens. So you now have reverse scroll direction at the bottom. And when you uh, put it on, like I've got it now, your reverse scrolling will be activated without you having to do anything. Don't have to delve into the registry and change settings and pro possibly render the system inoperable if you don't know what you're doing. And now when you change from Mac OS X to Windows, it's not that big a change. You don't have to, again, get used to the interface and how, how the scrolling works. It, it just works now. It, you can just move from one OS to another without having to readjust to anything. And that's just this quick video just to make you aware that this is now possible without you having to um, learn a different profession. You can now do it with just a click of a button. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.